For 50 years, Salt Lake Community College has proudly trained Utah's workforce. We teach academic and technical programs as well as specific work skills. Tonight, in conjunction with the Founders Day celebration, Salt Lake Community College would like to recognize three extraordinary graduates. These graduates have brought us honor for their outstanding achievements in their chosen careers, community, and civic activities. This year's distinguished alumni are Donna Salinas, Randy Foote, and Jill Berman. Thirty years ago, when Donna Salinas graduated from Salt Lake Community College, it was called Trade Tech, and it had just been relocated to the new Redwood Road campus. Donna had sustained neck injuries working on an assembly line. She liked her work, but doctors advised her to find something new. She took their advice and sought help through vocational rehab. I looked at the programs and I saw the program at Utah Technical College and said, this is for me. Donna selected the Administrative Assistant Program. It was absolutely wonderful. It was comprehensive. I, I think that we worked on every single office machine available at the time. It was up to date. Um, we had to dress for our classes as though we were actually working in an office. After graduation from Utah Tech, she enrolled at the U of U and earned her bachelor's in economics and a master's in human resource development. Today, Donna Salinas is a director for the Human Resource Department at Intermountain Healthcare. She has held managerial positions in Utah, Oregon, and California. She is an active member of her church and the YWCA. Involvement in professional organizations is important to Donna. She is accredited as a senior professional in human resources. She is certified in alternative dispute resolution through the University of Utah. She is a member of a Salt Lake Community College Program Advisory Committee. Last December, Forbes magazine featured her in an article describing her efforts to improve human resource laws. The professional organization helps keep you fresh. It keeps you updated on the, the legal changes in, for instance, in human resources that we need to know. Donna Salinas enjoys spending time with her husband, children, and grandchildren. Her dream when she retires is to move to Baja, where she and her husband are currently building their second home. Whether she is serving her community, excelling in her profession, or spending time with family, she is a fine example of what one can do with hard work and dedication. Salt Lake Community College is proud to honor Donna Salinas as one of this year's distinguished alumna. Randy Foote is well known to many at SLCC, as well he should be. Randy has spent almost one-third of his life in association with the college. Ten years ago, Randy decided to give Utah Technical College a try. He enrolled, and through getting involved, he learned to appreciate what the college could offer. And it's, it's a well-rounded education. And I guess that's what kept me there, is I, I really saw the opportunity to... Uh, move on and, and progress and grow and get a lot of experiences there that I wouldn't have had at any other institution. Randy's list of activities at Salt Lake Community College is impressive. He has served as student body president, LDSSA member and vice president, alumni association member, and alumni association president from 1991 to 1994. It's a commitment that has benefited the college immensely. I feel uh, it's really where I've spent a lot of my life. Um, I'm not all that old right now, and I've spent probably, you know, a good eight to ten years at that institution, at Salt Lake Community College, um, putting in a lot of hours in different various programs or associations. I still feel I have a very strong connection to the college. It's made a big impact on my life, not only in my education, but it gave me opportunities that uh, outside of the classroom to uh, to get experience and grow. Um, the education I had or the opportunity I had when I was serving as student body president by far outweighed the two years, two and a half years that I had in the classroom, just that one year of, of uh, serving in that capacity. Um, it, there, there's so many things that still connect me to the college, even though I'm not directly involved 
like I have been in the past, I still feel a very strong connection. Today, Randy is working hard to make his company, Five Star Catering, a success. Since this venture began in 1989, the company has grown an average of 25% annually. A big reason for this impressive growth is Randy's business acumen and hard work. Our catering business is, is doing extremely well. We serve uh, a lot of people every single day. While Randy's business is successful, his life would not be complete without his wife and children. I have a lot of things happen for me. It's the one thing that I'll always be grateful for. If I hadn't gone to the college, I wouldn't have met her. But we met, we were engaged there. Uh, she supported me in all that I did. She graduated a year before I did, but she supported me 100% in, in the activities that I was involved in. Uh, and she was very involved in the things that went on too. Randy Foote is an excellent example of the quality students at Salt Lake Community College. His leadership has benefited the college in many ways, and we are proud to honor him tonight with the Salt Lake Community College Distinguished Alumnus Award. Our final distinguished alumna is known at the Utah State Prison as the one to call to get the job done. Jill Berman is a LAN administrator and is described by her co-workers as a go-getter, quick to identify problems and get them solved. She takes her work seriously and she is often sought out for her technical expertise. I keep the network, networks running at the prison and at the training academy what's across the street. Um, we keep the email going, um, all the connections up to the BCI. And basically that, just helping the users, troubleshooting, and um, installation of equipment. Fifteen years ago, when Jill was choosing her career path, she enrolled here in the data processing program. Jill showed an interest in photography and volunteered her time to take photos for the school newspaper, Points West. When she graduated in 1985, she began dating her future husband, K.T. Magnuson. She has worked as a computer programmer in a variety of government jobs. While Jill is dedicated to her family and her work at the state prison, she also has a thirst for knowledge that keeps her coming back to the college. And been taking uh, all the criminal justice classes, um, and they've been quite interesting. And after taking so many classes, I went to a counselor and found out I had enough for an, an AS degree. Um, the teachers are quite interesting. I had an ex-FBI instructor, and, uh, it, and all of them have been instructors that, that I have had have all had um, related fields that they've either retired from or doing them during the day and then teaching at night. So it's been quite interesting hearing what's going on. Jill's continuous pursuit of excellence has set her apart as an outstanding co-worker, student, and employee. While Jill calls herself a workaholic, she still finds time for her two dogs and coaching Little League softball. Jill Berman is a coach, student, and colleague who believes in giving her best. Salt Lake Community College is proud to acknowledge her accomplishments by presenting her with the Distinguished Alumna Award. Salt Lake Community College is pleased to honor these distinguished alumni. To complete this evening, we would like to honor one more outstanding citizen for his continued and generous support of the college. This year's honorary alumnus is Denny Aaron, Human Resource Director of Union Pacific Railroad. Since the beginning of the partnership between Union Pacific and SLCC, Denny Aaron has shown outstanding support and leadership. He has volunteered his time to serve on our Applied Technology Center's advisory board, provided testimonials, and made appeals to the Utah legislature on behalf of the college. He is involved in an ongoing effort to create an educational partnership that is nationally recognized for its innovative approach, its responsiveness to business needs, and its positive effect on Union Pacific's productivity. As the needs of the railroad continue to evolve and technology advances at ever-increasing paces, we see the partnership expanding to rapidly meet ever-growing training and development needs so that we can truly meet the objective of our company and the goal of our company to become the best railroad. Today, Union Pacific's training program is housed on campus in the Science and Industry Building. 
Denny Arendt's commitment to training and quality education has made him a valued friend of the college. For his contributions, leadership, and generous support, we proudly present Denny Aaron as the 1996 Salt Lake Community College Honorary Alumnus.